Hey what's up guys you are watching Frutech. So the Samsung released the huge update for the Galaxy Tab 8 10.1 that is the Android 11 with the new One UI 3.1. So today in this video I am gonna show you what's new thing we got in this update in details. Actually this update changes the whole performance and the look of this device and I can say you will love this device again after update. So without further ado let's get started. So when you go in a settings send software update you need to check for the update then you will get the notification for the update with the huge change log because this update introduces a whole lot new things that we discuss later. You need to download update size of 1.2 GB. After downloading just click the install phone will take nearly 15 minutes so wait and phone will reboot. If you didn't got the update till now you can flash the update via Odin manually. I also given the link of the zip in the video description. So after the reboot if you go in the settings about device you will see the new one you have version that is the 3.1 new android 11 with the new Esther egg security patch level is updated to 1st June 2021. So what's new thing we got in this update first of all you will see the huge performance boost in this new update because the new one UI has the dynamic memory allocations which help us to run the apps faster and perform better. It also restricts the background activity. Most of the time tablet will run smoother and faster but it depends on your users also. The second thing we notice is that whole UI changes everywhere from the lock screen to the settings panel. ROM has the new volume panel. Lock screen comes with the widgets. New dynamic wallpapers are available now. New settings and the quick setting panel with the smaller icons which helps the ROM look slick and beautiful. When you go in a settings wallpaper, we can see the new dynamic wallpaper option. If we further go inside, we will see there are a bunch of the new dynamic wallpaper sets are available, which changes with every time whenever we do lock screen on or off. You can download any of your choice, but I can really say this wallpaper will definitely amaze you because they are very sweet and gives the professional look to your lock screen. Another new thing we got in the wallpaper setting is that whenever we manually apply the wallpaper we get the interactive preview of wallpaper for home screen and lock screen also. Another big thing we get in this update is the lock screen widget. For this we need to go in the settings, lock screen, widgets. Here we will get the different widgets like the music, schedule, alarm, weather and digital well beings. To access these widgets we just need to click on the clock of the lock screen. We can able to access the quick setting panel on the lock screen by just sliding the finger from the right or the left corner. If you want to see the notification, we just need to tap on the notification icons on the lock screen. Samsung's best customization feature is a call screen background. This feature is added in this update. To access it, we need to go to the dialer, then click the three dot menu and there you will see the call background option. From here, we are able to set the given color background. Also if you go to the gallery and from there we can add any images as a call background through the three dot menu settings. Now double tap to wake and double tap to sleep options are available under the settings, motions and gestures option. This is very helpful to avoid the access to power button every time to wake and turn off the lock screen. Another feature that we got in this update is that we are able to add the widgets for the application that support the widget from the home screen itself. For this we need to just long press the icon on the home screen and we get the option to add the widget for that application. Now gallery app has the bunch of the features like options to grouping of similar images. Search tab is available in the gallery app so we can easily search any of our images by typing the keywords. Now we are able to revert the changes made to any edited image anytime even after saving the image. Here I have edited the screenshot image and save it. But when I go to that image in the gallery, I got the new option revert to original. That's it. We got our original image. Now camera app support the quick focus on the subjects. Also the night shots are improved a lot. Images quality are better than before. The new quick setting panel has the tiles with the smaller and well arranged icons. There is new devices and the media options. Devices will show you all smart home devices connected and the media will show you all media now playing songs and the Bluetooth sound devices. We are able to edit the quick setting panel and add the different tiles in it. 
The stock setting app is also got change. It has new smaller icons and the search button to search any settings by just tapping the keywords. This update got the new Samsung keyboard features like search option to search the emojis, stickers, etc. There is translate option to quickly translate your typing. Now we can adjust the keyboard size to the larger one by dragging it. Another great feature added in this update is eye shield. Actually, it's not a night mode like setting. It's a simple filter which can be enabled and its intensity can be managed by settings available in this feature. The edge panel is now available in this update under the display setting. In this option, we get the apps weather reminder and clipboard panels. We can edit the apps panel by clicking the gear icon available near it. We can also access the app drawer in this panel. To access the edge panel, we just need to drag the edge panel handle after enabling this setting. We can adjust the transparency, color and the location of this handle under its setting. By using the clipboard panel, we can copy any old copies and it's available in this panel. It's a very great feature. Now we can adjust the notification size, brief for detail. Also we get the new animations for these heads up notifications. Multi-window is a great feature available in this ROM. To access this, we need to long press any app in a recent panel. Then we get the new option open in a pop-up view. We are able to adjust the size of this pop-up app by dragging its borders. We can open the multiple apps in this mode and use them side by side. By tapping the blue bar at the top of the window, we get the option to split the app in a split screen mode or to minimize it or to restore it to its original size. To open the edge panel apps in a multi-window mode, drag the app in the center and wait for a second. It will get open in a multi-window mode. To open the app in a split screen mode, just drag it to up or down and hold it for a second. So these are all the features and changes we got in this update. This is the big improvement over the last update. So I recommend it to go for it. If you got the notification of this update, install it and enjoy the, all the features. So that's it for today guys. If you think I helped you like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. Signing up. Bye bye.